that's unnecessary. You ready? Wait, and make sure it's not rocking. It's just weird, man. All right, uh, so here's what we're doing. We're doing Greg Postage sent a whole collection of whiskey. Greg Postage now, sent a, wait, wait, wait. How big of a collection has he sent? Because now, the number we decided for yes. patron sainthood, patron sainthood of whiskey. It was seven? It was seven, and well, let's, we're just gonna say, he sent combined, he has achieved that. Lovely. So that makes Greg Postage Greg Postage. A patron saint. You patron saint of whiskey. Oh. But he also said, hey, I know you're going to name somebody a Magnificent Bastard. Would you please name my wife, Anne, a Magnificent Bastard? Anne Posted, you Magnificent Bastard! <laughs> <laughs> right, man, we got a whole family of Magnificent people. We already called my Riley the Magnificent Riley. You remember Riley? Yeah, we got Anne the Magnificent Bastard. I wonder Bastard. if Riley remembers you. Well, I will tell you. Because oh, I didn't tell you what this was. You're just I some... won't. That's our new rules. Um, oh, he did leave a note. This looks a little... That Riley had a thought for us. This looks a little, uh... Hey, Rex. A little orange, a little red. Hey, Rex, Riley approves of the new wardrobe additions. <laughs> However, my mother is not a fan of your hair. <laughs> she said... She said... She is sure to let me know from time to time. So, <laughs> the thing is... Riley, your mom is thought... No, of no, 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 that's the wrong person. No, who... His mom, the... Her grandmother oh, right. He's grand doesn't like your hair. All right, all right, Riley. Your grandmother, I promise you, with that single opinion, has thought about my hair more than I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is dude. Uh, so this is a green spot. Uh, you love the green spot. Chateau right. Montalena. It's one of your favorites. Is this a wine cask finish? The look. It at, is. Um, just based on the color, man. The Zinfandel. This looks like a wine cask finish type of deal. Zinfandel finished from the Napa Valley. No, is Zinfandel white? No, red. I don't know. Red Zin. Red Zin, sure. Chateau Montella. So, it's two Irish endeavors mm -hmm. brought together. We got a lot of this. Teeling just had one with the Brabazon series. Now we've got Green Spot with Chateau Montalena. I'm getting the Irish. The Mitchells. Butter note on the nose. Bottled the original Green Spot. First impressions. Until 1968. Irish all day on the nose. Damn. Oh, and then it turns into something interesting. Hmm. So um, the Irish who immigrated to America to work in wine were called wine geese. <laughs> wine geese? <laughs> yeah. Wine geese? Irish immigrants that that have left Ireland mm -hmm. to found wineries. Mm. And that one was uh, Jim Barrett, son of John Barrett who got involved in Chateau Montalena. Bo Barrett is the one who's in control of it now. They combined with Chateau to finish a green spot. There's been a lot In of, Zinfandel barrels. A lot, I've been on a funky Irish adventure this week. Mm -hmm. This is that sweetened butter that is really rich and you get from the nicer Irish whiskeys. Yeah. But it still finishes it still finishes Irish. And this is not as sweet as that tealing. Not as sweet. Bravo it's just a little bit of the sweetness in, in the butter note there. And it still finishes Irish, but there's also something else on the finish that doesn't feel classically Irish, which I can only think it has to be the, the Zen. The Zen. Now, I remember that Chateau Leville Barton, the one we did last time in Special Edition Green Spot, that may have been one of the most amazing tasting Irish whiskeys I've ever tried in my whole life. I have no idea what you're talking about. This one comes about halfway between the original Green Spot and that one. This is pretty cool. Did we do a video on this? I still, yeah, we did. I still prefer the original Green Spot over this. So let's bring out all three. But this, no, I'm not getting that one. It's in a locked cabinet, man. We'll never be able to repeat that. Hey. Somebody forgot to put the chain on the cabinet. I don't know what you're talking about. So, Michael Sorry. Smith. Daniel, start with the Knockin Hills Irish Poteen yeah. as a base for the Yamazaki 12-year-old. Yeah, so 
Uh, here's why I think he's wrong. This is not that poutine, but this is something that's close to a poutine. This is a poutine. This is Irish. Smell that. Would you use that as a base for any blend? Uh, I mean, it would have to be a tiny amount just to get a little... But that's not what a base is. I know, not as a base, <laughs> just as a, like an accent. But I need to try the thing he's talking about because I don't think it's close to that one. Knocking okay, here's Irish another thing poutine. that he included and it's a sample size. You ready? Man. There's two. The red breast cask strength. Oh, so this these is, are sealed. This is your wait, can, ooh, ooh, ooh. these are sealed. Red breast cask strength, right there. Let's pour a little more. Yes, pour a little so more. So you can try that one. Here's what's happening. And I'm gonna pour the other one. Here's what's happening. The green spot is your favorite Irish whiskey. Mm -hmm. Red spot, red breast is yours. Red breast twelve is mine. Yeah. Now. And you've always wanted to try the cask. I've right? always wanted to try the cask. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Okay, now this one is the J.J. Corey The Gale. Now this is an Irish whiskey I'm excited to try because the story behind this mm -hmm. is about Irish whiskey bonding. Cool bottles, they're like little flasky things. So back in the day, because you, you understand how much aging has to do with the flavor of a whiskey, mm -hmm. right? Only a half to 40% of the flavor of a whiskey or less is coming from the distillation and the mash and the, all that, right? Okay. The other half is what you age it in and where you age it. Right. Right? Actually, I just found out today, Jared posted that um, from Balconis, Balconis yeah. is filling and sending like six different barrels of single malt to different corners of the US. Oh, uh, to see what happens. To see what happens to their single malt in different climates. Interesting. Isn't that cool? The identical single malt. Identical single malt. Sent to the corners of the country. And they're going to test it every few months for five years. Oh, that's cool. To see what happens. Oh. How cool is that? Super cool. So, so JJ Corey. On the nose, I'm getting everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's try the Everything I love. Shh, 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 shh. This is my favorite Irish whiskey. You shut your filthy hole. I just want to taste it while you're talking running your, about it. Run in your damn mouth. This, everything I love about Red Rose 12, I'm getting it, even on the nose. Okay. You can, you can have the tiniest of sips. Oh, tiniest okay. of sips. Hang on a second. A little bit. Mm. All right, what do you think? Oh, hell yes. Yeah? I'm sorry, dude. Chris ain't here. I tried to throw it No, he's here. Oh, he's Let me know in just a second. But that was right. five minutes or ten minutes ago. He texted me. He's pulling up Crystal Hills. Yeah, he's... Okay. Yeah, go walk down and try tracking down. Okay, so just for science, the Red Breast 12 non-cast strength, I think it's 40% is what we looked at. Which, I like that Red Breast. Which, which is lovely. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit more of like a lightened honey on that than I do from the cast strength, but on the cast strength. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you this, because this is super cool. Back in the era of bonding, you like the cast strength, don't you? Okay. New, I'll tell you what, Greg. New favorite. I'm gonna give that to Rex. New favorite Irish whiskey, Red Breast. Cast strength, 12. 12 cast strength. Okay. Damn. So, uh, Damn. this is J.J. Corey the Gale. Now, this is a family who owns a farm on the west uh, coast of Scotland. Yeah. In, uh, I can't remember where it is. Scotland. Um, or, I'm not Scotland. I said Scotland. Ireland, Ireland is what I meant. Yeah. Ireland, west coast. I said Scotland. I meant Ireland. Anyway, so they're doing what's called whiskey bonding, which means they're buying barrels of make, okay. new make whiskey. Yeah. And they're bringing it out to their farm. And aging it there before they bottle special editions of it. So this is all, this is this is basically rectifying and sourcing, which sure. is what we're doing, right? Yeah, it was one of the things we're doing early on before we start getting deep into. And what they're talking about is back in the day, this used to be all of Ireland, right? You would only have a handful of distillers, but you would have them filling casks, and then a local merchant would come get that and take it back to his little village, mm -hmm. and it would age differently based on what village or bar it was in or whatever, right? I just want to go home and drink the cast drink red breast. I know, right? You need to try that. This is the This is the JJ Corey. Damn. That is good. Damn. That is good. You know what? That's very green spotty. Yes. It's green. It's spotty. not as coconut. No, no, no. It's not but as it's coconut. everything else. But the green apple and the um the not as prominent of a big savory savory butter note. Belfry. Daniel can't entertain Rex like he used to, but he has his way. One trick is to tell Rex stories that don't go anywhere. That's true. Like the time he caught a ferry over to Shelbyville because he needed a new heel for his shoe. 
So we decided to go to Morganville, which is what they called Shelbyville in those days. You watch The Simpsons too, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is just totally lived it from Grandpa Simpson. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like 15 years ago too. I love it. And the fact that I recognize this as a Grandpa Simpson story. Totally. Now, to take the ferry cost to Nickel, and in those days, Nichols had pictures of bumblebees on them. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Come on, that is so good. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, okay. Oh, gosh, so many good things. So, postage, thank you, man. Now, he also included, we're not going to do it on video. Yeah. We're just going to enjoy this ourselves later. Yeah. Look at these. You ready? Oh. Each one of these is something different. Oh, we got the teeling single grain. We got this. What is this? Rowan Co. Red, red, red breast Listel finish. Turcano, Madeira. Dude, he is a, a dingle, Damn. single batch. And uh, Glendola, rare old times. Uh, he is a regular Irish whiskey connoisseur. Man. Correct postage. Did I mention that you are a magnificent bastard? <laughs> yeah, he did. You're kind of a magnificent bastard. All, All right. right. So good. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. You fight me, you fight for friends. And if you steal me, I steal a lover's heart. If you drink, may you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below. <laughs>